The original title for this video was supposed to be Why Do Minions Carry Gold? But as I delved deeper into what minions actually are, I began to discover the dark truth. So firstly, we need to look at what the law tells us about minions. Well, not much in fact. The law doesn't really go over minions, but there are plenty of clues left for us to find. After piecing these clues together, we can determine that minions are created using the magic of the nexuses. The minions need to be constructed from a source however, and it seems logical that the source would be gold, as that gold can be collected when the minions killed. This is the official story that the shopkeepers would have you believe, but the cracks begin to show as we investigate further. If minions are created from gold, then why can't we collect the gold even if we didn't last hit the minion? Even when we last hit the minion, we can't even hold the gold, it gets magically teleported to our bank account. And then, we can't even withdraw the gold from the bank, like what kind of fucking bank does that? It's not the global financial crisis. The gold isn't real. It's a spell the shopkeepers have put on us to make us see gold if we murdered the minion. I was wrong before. Why would the shopkeepers try to rip us off when they have infinite items, armies of minions, and impregnable bases? Think about it. The only reason we can destroy the enemy base is with minions, which is what they give us. Everything just goes according to their plan. So no, the shopkeeper's goal is much more sinister. Through levels of deep infiltration and research, I've discovered the true origin of the shopkeepers. This shopkeeper is most likely a Vistaya, which is the same type of creature as Rango or Ari. And this shopkeeper is a Yordle. So a long time ago, the Yordle shopkeeper was living happily with all the other Yordles until the Vistaya traveling merchant visited with his pack bison. Now at first, the Yordle shopkeeper kept their distance. Though after time, the Yordle shopkeeper and the pack bison developed a romantic relationship. The Vistaya being the cuck that he is like to watch. A Yordle townsperson caught sight of this horrendous act and exiled the shopkeepers. The shopkeepers swore that they would get their revenge, and over the next few years they became more powerful until each of them had a Nexus crystal. Using the Nexus power, they began kidnapping Yordle children and brainwashing them into soldiers. I mean, does this look like a simple AI created from a spell that's incapable of any thought? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So where do we fit into all this? Well, the shopkeepers wanted more than just revenge. They want to turn us all evil. That's why they make us kill Yodel children. That's why they make us fight. That's why League is so toxic. In Season 1, League was a paradise filled with supportive players who generally cared about each other. Then everything changed when the shopkeepers arrived. So what can we do to stop them? Well, there's only one thing we can do.